AITA for not letting my boyfriend name our daughter Renezme. My boyfriend and I are both 18 and 35W pregnant with our daughter. Since the day I found out we were having a girl he was hell-bent on naming her Renezme. Absolutely refuses to compromise. He's a massive Twilight fan. I personally hate it and would much rather that we don't name our baby after a fictional character. It kinda hit boiling point last night. For weeks I've been telling him we are coming up with something else Becco or I'm not naming my child that. I went onto Instagram where he had posted a picture of us and said in the caption, I can't wait to meet you Renesme. I got really really mad my this. I told him to delete that. Or change the caption because I'm not naming our daughter that. He refused. Saying his friends knew now so we had to stick with it. I said, I haven't fucking agreed to naming our daughter after some stupid made up character from the worst books ever fucking made. Delete the post now or get the fuck out of my house. He left to spend the night at a friend's and my parents who heard the argument said I should just let him name our daughter that. Saying it probably means a lot to him and that I'm being an unreasonable asshole. AITA. Edit. Feel the need to add. I have a stutter and can't even say Renesme out loud. I would much rather name my child something I can say. NTA. If he's getting this bent out of shape over figuring out a name you both can agree on. Then I worry about his general preparedness for parenthood. Your parents taking his side is concerning. He's wrong. You're right. Find a name you both can agree on. If he digs his heels in and says it's Renez May or nothing. Then effectively. He's waving his right to a say. I can't wait to meet you Renez May. Also. Just for clarity. The Twilight's character's name is Renez May. If it's a misspelling it. Then how big a fan could he be? NTA baby names fall into the two yeses. One no category. He absolutely sucks for the post and trying to use that as leverage to get his way. Be careful about someone who uses such a tactic. Your parents also suck for telling you to just go along with the name. At the hospital. Presuming you're giving birth in one. I would tell the nurses not to let him sign the birth certificate without you. ETA your edit makes it even worse. They get extra ah points for saying you should just go alone with a name you don't want nor can you pronounce. NTA. Twilight discourse has ebbed. Thank God. But your daughter will cop hell for being a Renesme. Just like all the little Samwises of this world. Also. You both get a say. She's not his daughter. She is the daughter of you both. Renee is a pretty nice name. Though. Info. He named your daughter after the Loch Ness Monster. NTA. Standard rule for baby naming is that either parent can veto a name. And that name is Godawful so you should 100% veto it. NTA. As many. Many. Many previous posts on baby names, especially pop culture baby names, have established. If one parent doesn't like the name, it's time to move on to a new option. Besides, even the majority of Twilight fans of Encounter don't like Renee's me as a name. NTA, stick to your guns. It's ridiculous that he thinks you will carry a child for nine months and he can dictate the name and you have no say. Absolute tool. NTA. He may have his heart set on this name but he shouldn't be posting on social media like that and trying to steamroll you. Your parents are out of line too. I'm sure they are just freaking out because their 18-year-old pregnant daughter looks like she might be dumping the boyfriend and trying to figure out how to deal with that. Letting him name your daughter the name that you hate is not a good idea. It's just the easiest way out of the conflict. If you were my daughter I would say that your boyfriend's behavior over this name issue is a red 
flag and it makes me worried that he's going to act out in the same way over and over again. Whenever you disagree, he's going to be the baby's father no matter what. So you are going to have to learn to set boundaries and stand your ground. So you did the right thing. NTA and this is a huge warning sign. If he refuses to let you have a say in your own baby's name, how controlling is he going to be of you when you're raising a child together? You're 18 so yes you are an adult. And judging from what you've posted you're fairly mature. But is this guy seriously the one you want to spend your entire life with? He sounds like a four-year-old. Anyways. NTA and he needs to get a grip. It's your baby too. Not just his. When you go into labor. Make sure you inform everyone that he is not allowed to name the child in the event that you fall. Unconscious or are taken away for any kind of emergency treatment. In case he tries to pull something behind your back. Edit. Changed a poor phrasing choice. NTA. People don't think about the fact that the child will have to deal with all the weirdness that comes with having a funky name. It will affect them in school, their job prospects, and that everyone is going to mispronounce their name for the rest of their lives. It gets old really quickly. Someone who has a funky name and will be changing it sometime in the near future. NTA. Anybody who says otherwise has named their kid Brittany, Lachlan, or Spock. NTA. LMAO what? You should both agree on the name. So if you don't like it, then he should be an adult and find another one you both like. It probably means a lot to him. Make him sit down and give you five reasons aside from liking. Twilight as to why you should name your daughter that. Good luck with both becoming a parent and this boyfriend. Remember that this is a little human that you are both responsible for. NTA also. Make sure you give the baby your last name. Your boyfriend doesn't sound too bright. And doesn't sound like he cares about you. I wouldn't bet on the longevity of this relationship for him sticking around. In the hospital, you get to choose all of the baby's names. As the person giving birth, and an unwed mother, you have all the legal rights. NTA. Naming kids after characters in books when the name doesn't exist IRL is not cool. Even the author said she wouldn't name a real child Renesme. According to its wiki page anyway. It's double not okay considering you can't even say the name out loud. You could compromise and call her Renee or Esme or he could start acting like a grown-up and have a conversation with you about the name of your child. Him posting on Instagram to announce the name is him trying to guilt you into just doing what he wants. NTA why would your BF screw over y'all's future child like that? Think about their future. Twilight is not a good foundation for a good life. NTA. You should both be able to agree on a name. And it doesn't really bode well for the future if you can't do that. NTA. He is a huge asshole for blackmailing you into the name. This warrants a serious discussion why he is ignoring your share in this. And is willing to stoop so low as to bringing friends and family into the thick. Also. Be careful that he doesn't pull a fast one on you if he's the one to go to City Hall once your daughter is born. Talk it through. Bring alternatives. Be understanding but be relentless in getting that name scrapped. Have him name your cat or dog that dot but not your baby. This is something you need to figure out between you two. Also. Considered Renee. This whole thing is embarrassing. He sounds like a kid. A kid having a kid. What a prat. NTA. NTA. I have a stutter and can't even say Renesme out loud. Okay. I'm glad you said something. Because the whole time I'm reading this I'm wondering, how the hell are you supposed to pronounce that? Quote. Renesme. 
Ren is my NTA lol I don't think I've ever met a bigger Twilight fan than this. Regardless, you deserve a say in what you name your daughter. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.